Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BD Armoury. Today we are taking a look at some craft I have received for some of my mailbag streams, the regular streams I do, which I'm sure many of you are aware of, but some might not have seen. I've kind of had pretty regular suggestions to do something like this, you know, sort of best of the mailbag every one or two or three months, so I thought maybe it's time I start doing something like that. So to get the ball rolling, we're going to be looking at some craft I received, not just recently, but uh, some of them quite a while ago. In the background you can see a quick fight I threw together between my own Spike Tail and uh, the KAS-104 Sunfighter by FPVSD. Uh, it was a really good fighter on the most recent mailbag stream and I just wanted to see how my own craft compared and um, yeah, <laughs> I had to do this fight a number of times because um, initially it became very apparent that my countermeasure settings are really out of date on this craft, uh, you know, changing versions of BD Armory and all that stuff. but. It took me a few fights to get it perfected, and it's still lost. So yeah, stuff to do on this. But uh, yeah, let's uh, let's move on. So this is a craft that was sent to me very early on in the whole mailbag thing. I, literally years ago. It's still incredibly weird to me that I can say that. Uh, yes, this is the reverb by I think it was Omega. This is going to be a recurring thing today, by the way, because I have made a note of who sent me all these craft, but they're on notepads somewhere, and I. Have to, have to dig through them and I, I don't have a lot of spare time at the moment with preparing to move house so um, my apologies if I credit it to the wrong person or don't credit it to anyone I'll maybe make a pinned comment or something on the video and if I've got it wrong or you know it is your craft let me know and I'll stick it in there but yeah moving on this is the um this is a ground attack craft and it's a bit of a mess, but I I quite like it uh, I made the joke at the time that if the A10 was a Pokemon this is what it would evolve into um, and it is armed with well, it, pretty much everything. Let's uh, let's actually uh, let's take it off. Let's go for the um, let's go for the cluster bomb. Do some uh, do some damage to the uh, to the R and D center because that's always a, a good cluster bomb target. I think you're supposed to drop these from quite high up. Um, oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, I've already got it selected. I'm oh, on Smithy. Bloody idiot. Um, but yeah, we'll have to see just what happens when you sort of just drop it from quite a height. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. We also have the Hydra 70 pods. These are ridiculously overpowered. These are stupidly overpowered with the uh, with, uh, infinite ammo turned on because they just they just keep going. Hello, space plane hangar. Yeah, they don't overheat. <laughs> so you've got. Certainly ridiculous. Oh, I wish I could get these to work in. Uh, wish I could get these to work in air-to-air -air combat. I have tried so many times. Round we come, and I think we'll go for the VAB this time. Come on, come on. Up, down, and up, and round a bit, and there we go. Come on. Easy peasy. I mean, it's got twin go eights. They, they're almost a bit of an anticlimax when you've done the uh, the infinite ammo rocket pods. Okay, I think we've probably seen enough of this. It's it's also armed with you know a couple of GPS guided things, the cruise missiles, the JDAM bombs. It's got um, some air to air missiles, the usual air to ground missiles. Yeah, a hell of a craft. As I said, bit of a mess, but I uh, I, I love this one. I do occasionally get sent uh, what I think I can only like properly describe as novelty craft. And so I thought I'd just represent this here and also give some love to our uh, to our thumbnail craft from today by showing you this, the Big E by Ben Aaron, which, yeah, very much does what it says on the tin. And, um, Smithy, you're not going to put it into a fight? Is it is it more of an air-to-air -air fight or is it more of a more of a ground attack craft? Well, it, it, it's a Big E. <laughs> you're lucky. It's it, you're lucky if this if this uh, actually spawns on the runway without exploding. It's kind of a 50-50 ball there. Um, it is it is kind of horrible to control. I don't think it was this bad. I don't think I did a lot of messing around with this. I think I just stuck it into a fight during the mailbag. Um, but this is its top speed with four Saturn engines going full blast. Oh my god, would you, would you behave? Uh, what did I put it? I put it up against the uh, the armed Chonker. And yeah, this thing was... It, this this has got a lot of parts. It is glorious when this thing goes, particularly if you hit the root part, but I just cannot be asked to set that up at the moment. Yeah, this is its top speed. It, it Yeah, there's a lot of drag there. Four... 
four Saturn engines going full tilt with afterburners, and that's all you can do. Oh, that, that's just me trying to trying to roll it to the uh, to the right there. Eh. Okay, it's behaving this time. One of the benefits of the, oh my god, no it's not, no it's not, no it's not, stop it, stop it, stop it, there we go. One of the benefits of this is if actually, if you want to turn, you're better off actually just using the, using the yaw. So there you go. Abs oh my, oh my, oh my god. Right, I think, I think we'll just, I think, let's just put this away, back off, and look at something else. Occasionally with the mailbag, you do get sent um, some ridiculous craft, much to my joy and delight. Uh, this is the RDA Modified Adventure Support Gabriel Final Final. Uh, this is by Comrade 501, I think it is, and this is just, yeah, a ridiculous air cruiser that can destroy pretty much anything, pretty much anything that is, apart from maybe the armed chonker. Uh, this is by, oh, is this by Ion or by Luna or by Ion and Luna? It, it, one of the three. This is, yeah, this is, just, it's a beautiful craft. Ridiculous, but beautiful. And look at all the, <laughs> look at all the airborne lasers. Also, this thing has a nasty habit of destroying some of its engines on takeoff. So we will have to see what happens, but, uh, see what happens. We will. Let's, uh, let's get a competition going between these two. And the ridiculous competition starts. Um, yeah, now, good news. The Arm Chonker only destroyed two of its engines on takeoff. This thing is ridiculously manoeuvrable. Far more manoeuvrable than it deserves to be. The Pack 3s are starting to come in from the, uh, from the, uh, Gabriel. Now, this... Oh, oh god, oh god. Arm Chonker had 105... This thing has got a lot of lasers on it, but they're all forward pointing, so... Unless it gets the right aspect to it, then it's it's kind of a bit stuck. Oh my god, that's really close. The arm chonker taking a lot of damage. There we go. Now it's getting its uh, bringing its lasers to bear. Oh, but the guns are coming in from the Gabriel. Oh, that is not good news. I think I think the rocket noise has kind of malfunctioned. Oh, that's that's oh that's kind of glorious, but that that's sad. Uh, Oh my god. <laughs> now this was a rematch from the actual mailbag fight between these two and the um the arm chonker did win that one so a little bit of revenge for the Gabriel but I think we uh, I think we should sort of finish this off with a like a proper uh proper fighter versus fighter competition. Let's end then with a good old-fashioned 3v3. I've chosen, like, really recent fighters because, as I alluded to at the start of the video with my spike tail, fighters don't tend to age well, particularly with the uh, with the AI settings. This is the Bacon Roll by Steek. Uh, this was sent in to me, not for the most recent mailbag stream, but the one before that, and I my favourite thing about this is that it has a just a shed load of Brownings. That is its gun armament, and it's got a couple of a uh, couple of sidewinders. But that is it. But these, yeah, I did a video a while ago where I just you know uh, tried to test if lots of lots of bad guns equals a good gun, and it kind of does. And this demonstrates it to uh, to really good effect. Moving on, we have the uh, the Cassic K six B by Jif nine two one. This this really caught my eye, and it did really well in the. Um, in its fight at the most recent mailbag. Yeah, it's, I still cannot think for the life of me what it reminds me of. Um, but it has this interesting little diamond cross section. It's, these don't actually produce any lift. These are just, um, flag pieces. Uh, so they are just there for decoration to achieve this, um, this kind of look. But both these craft basically mince their opponent. So I am going to be very interested to see what happens here. And the competition starts. Josh and Jebediah in their bacon roll. <laughs> Just sounds wrong. Uh, yeah, but the uh, the, K the uh, BD Armoury um, vessel spawner does fill in all your little seats for you, which is, I think, is kind of a nice touch. Now, obviously, the bacon rolls problem is they do not have many missiles. So, if they're not careful... Oh my god, one of the bacon rolls has been hit. If they're not careful, they're going to be kept on the ropes or worse. And it looks like it's going to be the worst option here. These missiles do seem to be tracking surprisingly well. 
coming in, coming in. Ah, it does go past the back of it. Ah, really needs to get round and actually get one of those uh, get one of those sidewinders away. The K6B, maybe now is the opportunity. Maybe now is the opportunity. More missiles coming in. Can't get Sidewinder away. Hmm. Okay. Are you out of, are you out of countermeasures? Are you out of countermeasures? Oh, damn it. The classic K6Bs. Yeah, just lazily almost gliding into the, into the confrontation. They are uh, they are yeah, so that that bacon roll still has countermeasures. Why? I don't know. I don't know. But the Kasik, obviously, they perfected their missile game. Oh, but here come the um, here come the uh, the fifty cal rounds. Oh my God, that was close. Switching to the Gau eight, will it manage to line up a shot? As I said, if the uh, if the bacon rolls get their guns on you, you're not going to have a good time. But will they get the opportunity? Yosemite and Valentina come over the top. That looks pretty deadly. That looks very deadly. And the last bacon roll just crashes into the ground. Yeah, I think that early missile hit cost them dearly. The uh, the bacon rolls. So the classic K6Bs are victorious. Hmm. I I don't know what the moral of this story is. I mean, don't don't bring a gun to a missile fight. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Anyway, that will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, if you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, letting me know what you thought about this video. Should I do uh, more of these sort of mailbag highlight ones? Um, yes. All those... Uh, uh, or you can... Uh, God, getting distracted there. Or you can follow me on Twitter, uh, or maybe get involved with the Discord, Great KSP and BD Army community on there, and more besides. Uh, all those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. Uh, you too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, like Yosemite Kerman here. Let's just uncover him for, uh, with the radar. Uh, as well as your name at the end of videos, access to the um, access to the Patreon only Discord, anything else I put up on Patreon. You know, the, the normal kind of stuff. Um, I will be back soon with some more BD Army, but until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.